The last video was about this cylinder head with a rotary valve. The aim was to improve the flow into and out of the cylinder head. This was achieved by drilling straight holes directly into the combustion chamber. When you look at the principle, you immediately get the feeling that this is a good solution and that the gas flow is excellent, right? When the engine was finally finished, it was time to measure its performance. We had only achieved 0.28 horsepower. The goal was to achieve more than 0.6 horsepower and thus have more power than the first version. For me, that was a big disappointment. The question is, why did this cylinder head perform so much worse? I suspect that the gas exchange was somehow malfunctioning through one valve, but I don't know for sure. What I do know is that this two-valve rotary valve cylinder head worked very well and achieved 0.6 horsepower like I mentioned in the power chart before. The answer for how to proceed is therefore obvious. Return to the old design and improve it. With this slogan, I picked myself up again and designed something new. Here you can see my new design model engine with rotary valve in CAD. He looks quite good, doesn't he? Now let's take a look at the engine specifications. We have a four-stroke engine with a displacement of 7.4 cubic centimeters. It has a 25 millimeter bore and a 15 millimeter stroke. A centrally mounted rotary valve with two valves. Nothing new so far, right? But that's not all. Here you can see the engine reduced to its core functions. The crankshaft, the cylinder liner, the timing belt drive, the rotary valve with inlet and outlet, the glow plug. But the new feature is the cylinder head with active sealing of the rotary valve. The engine doesn't have a conventional cylinder head. Instead, it has a floating counter piston. The trick here is that the gas pressure presses it against the rotary valve to active seal it. Just like the piston, the counter piston also has a piston ring. The rotary valve is fixed mounted in the motor block with two ball bearings. The counter piston in the cylinder liner moves slightly up due to the gas pressure, pressing against the rotary valve and sealing it. At the same time, the counter piston also forms the hemispherical combustion chamber with the two valves. Let us now take a look at the gas exchange. Intake and exhaust occur axially through the rotary valve. During intake, the fresh gas is drawn through the carburetor and through the rotary valve into the cylinder. Now let's turn the rotary valve to the exhaust position. On the exhaust side, it works in basically the same way as on the inlet side. The burnt gas is flows axially through the rotary valve to the exhaust pipe. As you can see, I have already started manufacturing the parts, but this time I am pursuing a different strategy. I want to get the parts quickly. For this reason, I have decided to have the raw milled parts manufactured externally. I had these parts manufactured externally, three sets of raw and anodized milling parts for my new engine. This was manufactured by JLCCNC. I can highly recommend them. There are no faults with the parts. Let's be honest, the parts just look really good. I also have three deprinted parts made of plastic and metal manufactured by JLC. Same thing here, thumbs up. Enough with talking. Now let's start finishing the motor block.
Isn't it just fantastic when the cylindrical plug gauge fits so perfectly? I love it. Just look at the color contrast between the black anodized finish and the bare aluminum. A wonderful combination. I have no idea, but I just find that kind of thing so satisfying. Now it's off to the lathe to turn the bore for the cylinder liner. Of course, everything has to be precisely aligned here too. Here the concentrical truing of the raw bore in the motor block. We don't want a crooked and off-center cylinder bore, right? I've held up the attachments for you. Everything fits quite well already. What do you think? At this point, I would like to end the video. Several more video parts will follow until we have finished building the engine. I hope you like the project and are excited about what's to come. Now, all that remains for me to say is, please like and share the video. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel.